Bonjour YouTube, souvenez-vous, on était dans le camion en... pour partir. Euh, je vais réduire l'écran là, voilà. Donc ça, on avait vu. Voilà, le camtar. Voilà, c'est parti. Concrete paparazzi. Such an asshole. But I like it. How's that escape of yours going? Making progress. I'm currently stowed away in a truck. Communications are hot. You really pissed them off, Fox. I guess we're both gifted with pissing people off. Sorry about the concrete joke, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. Better to have a sense of humor about being jailed over some concrete blocks. By the way, you haven't seen them, right? I've seen concrete everywhere, Robert, but nothing as big as you mentioned. Ah, uh, well. Send a postcard when you get home, my friend. Definitely. Over and out. Ah, euh, je sais pas pourquoi, je, je sens que ça sent la bite. The truck stopped at last. Its destination was a small port owned by the clandestine base. Looked like the truck was carrying packages to be transported by sea. As we arrived, I overheard a conversation between the driver and a hangar officer. Are you gonna tell me what the fuck you're bringing me at this time of night? Sir, I have an order to send this load by sea. Fuck! You're waking me up for this? I already told your officer. All maritime operations are canceled. We're waiting for the nuclear warheads to arrive. And we won't ship anything else until there's a new order. Hold on. You said nuclear warheads? Yes, that's what I heard them say. God save us. That's impossible. You sound just like the Colonel. Je peux regarder si je peux péter un truc. Colonel Harris, are you there? Here I am, son. You sound tense. Are you all right? Where are you? I escaped in a truck. I'm now in a hangar at a port. That's great news. Find a phone and call. Not so fast, Colonel. It's an ex-army port. I'm not safe yet. I have new information about Operation Jericho. Just overheard a conversation. Sounds like they're waiting for nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads? That's impossible. Are you certain? That's what I heard. This can't be. You just can't pluck nuclear weapons out of thin air. They're extensively regulated. Is it possible they stole them? Yeah, we don't have any news about any theft in any country. If they were stolen, either a country hid the fact or it happened while I was captive here. Is it possible to build them? These people have a lot of resources. They need radioactive material and it can't be freely obtained. Not to mention a big lab and highly skilled people to produce them. Whatever the case, they managed to acquire some. If that's true, son, we're screwed. Hold on, Colonel. I heard something. Crap, they started the engine. I'll call you later. I have to jump out before the truck drives off. D'ailleurs, ça me fait penser. Euh... La ligne numéro 3, on s'en est jamais servi. La 2 c'est euh, Robert, mais la 3 c'est qui C'est personne. Ça c'est Patrick. Paf Ah, il faut que... Ça commence bien, des grenades, des caisses. Est-ce qu'ils sont gentils les techniciens Ils ont pas l'air méchants. Oh, ah. Look, it's the prisoner. Leonard, not Mike. These guys were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. Quick, call for backup. So they get the credit. No way. I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls. 
We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> D'accord. Activating radial saw. Guys, you're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on, let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. Fine. Mange une bite. Comment ça? But any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them, and with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers and heal them in case they got injured. Ah, d'accord. C'est d'où les grenades. Ah non, Léonard Oh Ah ça c'est bien ça. Comment ça Mais ils peuvent... Ils peuvent pas Mais qui contrôle quoi Et je fais comment Qu'est-ce que c'est que ces connards Surtout que là je peux pas passer. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ces bêtises Là je peux pas passer, on est d'accord. Je peux pas passer. Je fais comment pour le troisième Il diagonale pas Il va mourir, ah, il va mourir, mais je fais comme... Ah, ça y est, je peux déjà plus. Quoi Non. Ah. Oui, il a failli crever de toute façon. Mais la cible, mais pour... Ok, ça fait rien. I was so hungry that I almost bit into the raw steak. But I remembered that it's a crime to kill an animal for its meat. Are you vegetarian? No. Killing them is a crime. That's why I'm oh. <laughs> alive. Mais moi je voulais le jeter sur la scie. Comment ça Mais je fais comment J'ai rien pour... Là, ah, c'est bon, il est mort. Vous avez tué quelqu'un Bah oui. Je sais que j'ai tué quelqu'un. Le problème, c'est que je sais pas comment je passe. Comme ça Parce que ça... Bravo Colonel, do you copy? Copy. Hey, Colonel, any idea where we are? We are somewhere in Candoro, near the coast. 
How do you know that? I've heard conversation, and the air smells of salt. Tough, we should have to. La scie ne se casse pas. Comment je peux faire Bordel Ah <rire> Ok. Speedrun. Mais nique ta mère Pardon. Un raté. Je suis nul. Nul. Faut que je me concentre. Comme le lait, le lait concentré. Vite, vite, vite. Lol, MDR. Il me reste pile trop. Tu veux dire, il me reste pile trois trousses, mais. C'est bon. C'est chiant. On se fait chier. Mais comment je vais faire pour. Comment tu veux que je le touche, lui Oui, y être. Oui. Wow. Ben. Ouais, sous-marin. Le Yellow Submarine, c'est les Beatles. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. Still in that hangar? Yes, Colonel. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. <laughs> Ah, mais oui, la porte elle est ouverte. Ah, oh, il y a du recy... il y a une poubelle de recyclage. C'est incroyable. I inspected the mini submarine before I left. Ah, d'accord, d'accord, je vais faire ce que tu dis. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first. 
But this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. Perth. Oh, oui, pet. Qu'est-ce que ça dit? The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine. The K-278 Consomolets, suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. Ça on sait... Ça fait longtemps qu'on sait pas servir une pièce, hein, c'est dommage. Before leaving the submarine, I decided to report to Harrison. Ah oui, Dr. Harris. Police Academy. I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, successfully completed. Return date. Fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it, the Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course. It's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomolet sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel, what was the sub armed with? As far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck! There it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finders Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Komsolots have been contaminated by the radiation, which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Colonel? Don't be an idiot, Fox. A sarcophagus is something that confines radiation, preventing everyone from dying while they transport the goods. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel uh. Harris. You're be. Here. Do you copy? I hear you. Fox, looks like you're going to transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Fox? Of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are, from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is the bomb! That's a literal way to say it. Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. Hello. Ah, la sauvegarde. Il est où le pied? 
Il est où le piège Il est où le passage secret Pourquoi il y a un truc de recyclage J'ai finalement localisé un recycling bin. J'ai besoin d'un pour un moment. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shit bag? You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. And nothing enslaves me. So, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists, such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. How dare you! Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. Hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. I'm, uh... <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. Uh, super. Ça valait vraiment le coup de tout prendre. Les lunettes de soleil, elles vont servir à quelque chose. À moins qu'elles servaient pour, euh, pour les détecteurs thermiques, ça se trouve. Hein je, suis... je suis où Je fais quoi Je pars en sous-marin Allez, on y va Putting the key in the lock and turning it. <laughs> oh, beef. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. Huh, well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? Yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions. Oh, no. Super, je me mords. C'est Flappy Bird. Ah, des mines. Ah, 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 ah presque. Connor oh, Sa mère. C'est chaud. Po 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 po. Oh là là. Incroyable. Oh bah on y retourne, hein, c'est parti. Ça 
Comme tu ferais que je prenne la clé C'est chiant. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ouais, mais bah déjà, faudrait... Faudrait pas que je me cogne. Ah, C'est mieux comme ça. Paf Paf Celle du bas, on s'en fout. Ah mais je peux... Ah, j ah si, j'ai perdu un peu de vie. Je peux me cogner un peu. Ah, ça va. Je croyais qu'au moindre contact, c'était l'amour. La, Il y a des trucs. Oui. Oui, toi, t'en lances trois d'un coup, bâtard. Merde, je m'ai cogné la tête. Ah, j'ai pris rush, j'ai pris cher. Là, c'est fissuré. Il y a un passage. C'est obligé. C'était sûr. Aïe. <rire> Je peux pas la réparer ce bâtard. Pour plus étroit. Hein. Mais nique ta mère, voilà. Je vais exploser. Comment je monte Je peux pas Je fais comment Mais je suis trop... Oui, je suis débile. Je fais comme ça. Bien évidemment par contre, je vais exploser, ça c'est officiel. Ah, c'est bon, j'ai compris, j'ai compris le turc. Oui, oui. Ah. Si je touche, j'explose. Hein. C'est fini. À mon avis, c'est ce qui va se produire. Je vais devoir certainement les recharger. Aussi. Bonjour. Tranquillou. Sauvegarde, je t'en supplie. Oh non, qu'est-ce qu'il y a Oui, un boss. C'est un peu lonely. Locked in that submarine underwater. Non, un ah, kraken. Ugil 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 Bonjour. Connard Ça Oh là, il a explosé, bâtard. Il a explosé avec moi. Oh, bah, oh easy. You had to feel lonely. Locked in that submarine. J'ai récupéré. Ah, c'est quand il ouvre la bûche. Qu'est-ce qui va me chier comme connerie après Ouh là là Je 
Dusche. Boss defeated. Et je gagne rien Non I ended up in what looked like. Mais non. So, in the end. Fox, do you come? Okay, bon. YouTube, on se retrouve dans 3 secondes grâce à la magie de, du montage. Là, YouTube est incroyable. Euh, grâce à la magie de, du montage, on se retrouve ici. Voilà. Et euh, bah, ah, les WC, mais oui, mais il faut casser les portes pour le trophée. J'avais pas vu que c'était des WC. Et il euh, y a les trois autres trous. Voilà. Est-ce qu'ils servent à quelque chose J'ai eu un secret sur deux. Deuxième, je sais pas du tout où il est. RT. Retweet. Je me sens un peu plus tranquille comme ça. Paf Ah, je m'ai cogné la tête. Oui Le boss, il est pas ouf hein, en plus. C'est le pire. Regarde les murs fissurés. Si j'en trouve. Ah, je m'ai cogné Va chier Il est con Il est con Ah, c'est bon, au pixel près, elle va pas me faire chier. Mais qui connard Heureusement que boss ça, ça recharge tout. Est-ce qu'il n'y aurait pas un passage par là par hasard à tout hasard si je tire là Pourquoi il y aurait ce petit passage en vrai ici Oh 
발랄래 이 세리유 Parce que. Pourquoi il y a ce petit passage Il doit bien y avoir un truc s'il y a ça. Connard J'ai la rage. You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Oh, allez, Ugil. Ouh, j'ai fait me faire croquignoler. Hop là. Hop là. Hop là. Hop là. Hop là Easy Boss Est-ce que c'est les mêmes trous Ça m'étonne. Connard Sérieux Ça veut dire que je peux pas passer, je peux passer là. Putain. Oh bah je sais pas où il est le deuxième secret. Bon bah voilà. En fait on a rien loupé YouTube. I ended up in what looked like a dock. There were containers and stuff. The sea was slightly rough. Oh, and there was a storm. Bon bah voilà, c'était cool YouTube. Allez, on se retrouve la prochaine fois pour ce chapitre. Au revoir.